We've got 24 guys here now and they're all from the same island. They're from an island just north of Port Villa, so it's pretty awesome. They're like a big happy family and they play the same music, sing the same songs and yeah, they're the happiest bunch of guys I've ever come across. You're all from the same village working yeah, here in yeah, Iceland. Yeah. But I just live only on the one of the island in front of the called Leleba. And when they come for me to make a food picking here, so I just come over to Australia to make some food picking. Back at home we usually play uh, string band in the evening. It's like uh, getting all the boys together every evening just for fun, just playing and singing. When they grow up, they start singing. They love singing when they, they, they young age. So it's normal back at home. It's not only singing the church, but after when they walk in the gardens or they grow their own food, whatever, they love singing. So it becomes a habit of their life. Sometimes you come here at five o'clock in the morning and you can hear them in the paddock picking and singing their heads off here. Yeah. Half of the group came last year which we used to sing at a, a Benchville Music Festival and we've been winning the prize, we won the first prize but this season all the, all the crew of the band are here so I believe they're more better than the other ones last year so we will have the, the sun coming up. <laughs> busy season we'd have up to 60 contract workers picking on the farm at one time and it's very hard to find 60 guys you know just off the streets if you know what I mean. We normally do um, eight hours but not during the daytime we do it fairly early in the morning and then finish off by midday. Well these guys are paid well above the award wage and yeah they got good living conditions they got vehicles yeah, they live a good life when they're here, they're very happy. Do you think that your conditions here are fair? Do you think you're looked after here in Australia? Uh, yes, very much. We looked after very well. Clean house, clean water, everything. Everything's good. We like it here. Not like at home, we live differently. Like we, we don't have the water supply. So we get here, we have tap in our rooms. It's just uh, very good. People earn a lot of money compared to back at home. Even some people can uh, have a job for 20, 30 years, they wouldn't save that much money. Because minimum wages back at home is ridiculous. So for me, I walk in a uh, in resort, which is about 30 minutes on a boat ride. We go, by, we go to walk by boat every day. Do you make more money in Australia or over in Vanuatu at the resort? Oh, we do heaps of money. A lot of money here than we do back at home. But Australia is better because you got lots of money in Australia. We only get a working visa for six months period here. Before it expires we have to go home and stay back at home for another six months before we apply for another visa. You have a family back home? Yeah. Children? Yeah, children. Yeah. What's life like back in Vanuatu? You just uh, plant your own garden and yeah. Just live off yeah, the land. Yeah. We don't live like you guys, buy food from the shop. And uh, back at home, we grow our own vegetables. Uh, we find our own meat, like we go fishing, catch fish. Some of the money we take home, we save with the families. Most of us investing the money for the kids to go to school and uh, improving the standard of living back in the village. We live in an extended family, I live with my dad. I actually started building a house. I'm planning to, when I go back home from here, I'll, I'll complete my, my house. We uh, support the shops, uh, support the businesses back at home. So the money we, we bring over here helps the business back at home to make it grow.